Hi, I'm Natasha Soglin. I'm the game art team lead here at Filament Games, um, and I'd like to demonstrate what it is like to do a character concept for everybody. So the idea that we started with was just a simple character uh, that was thrown out as a hawk that likes to eat hot dogs. So a couple of things that we had to start with were what kind of hawk and what he looked like and kind of how he animates a little bit. Just kind of thinking about all that as we draw him. So I started out with a bunch of references of different types of hawks, um, mostly Cooper's hawks, one red-tailed hawk. And uh, starting to draw him, I, I kind of liked the idea of playing on Hawk's giant eyeballs. So I gave him kind of like a Muppety look at first and then started to refine him a little bit, um, making him a, a little bit cuter, um, giving him some cheeks because uh, Hawks have like these really interesting color patterns and sometimes they can look like they've got these cheeks even though Hawks don't actually have cheeks and playing on the idea that this is a hawk that loves to eat hot dogs. I wanted him to look like his cheeks were always full of hot dogs. So fleshing out a full body pose, um, I wanted to better define his proportions and kind of visualize what his whole body would look like if he were to be in a game or like in an animated series or something. So trying out different like head shapes, head sizes, feet shapes, um, and, and eventually kind of like taking one of the original heads that I had drawn and making him look like really animated and really excited to see this hot dog that I'm drawing on the ground <laughs> in front of him because this hawk instead of eating vermin or anything like that he just you know either finds hot dogs on the sidewalk or takes them out of people's hands in New York City. He's one of those guys. I drew him a little bit on the young side so he's got like a, a youthful spry look to him. And that's so like a younger audience can maybe better identify with him as being like one of the younglings such as themselves. And then moving on to just different poses and different facial expressions. Um, I drew him in a flying pose. Uh, who knows if, we're, if we ever make a game with a hot dog hawk. Um, it's probably pretty likely that he'll be flying otherwise. What's the point of making him a hawk? Um, I really wanted to emphasize uh, his leg feathers kind of looking like some baggy pants, just because that gives him kind of a sillier look. Drawing different expressions to kind of give him this like really intense love for hot dogs, as some of us have. The final pass of the character um, is something that might be turned into a reference image, so just drawing his like full body pose, looking at the viewer, um, in just like a normal casual stance with kind of like a like a cocky look on his face the one one raised eyebrow one one eyebrow down You don't get every angle of the character from this kind of pose um, We would likely in in game development We would probably draw him from a couple of different angles depending on what the character's animation would turn out to be and like how the character moves and such But you can still get a sense of his character just from this one pose in the future, I would probably uh, simplify his features a little bit, like drawing out each and every individual toe and claw on his feet was a little excessive. <laughs> um, he, I might take this into a, like a further step later and, and give him little like French fry feet that are just like simple sticks that don't take forever to draw. Because a, a lot of things about art are efficiencies and stylization choices, and those might be some some things that, that I would change. I decided to give him little whisker-like lines as like a feather pattern on his cheeks because I think that makes him a little bit more uh, friendly and approachable looking, kind of similar to how like a cat or like a domesticated dog has whiskers. They're a little bit on the cuddlier side. So I, I didn't want to make him look exactly like this like threatening bird of prey, but rather something that is like a little more approachable and maybe a little bit huggable, and that's Hot Dog Hawk.